To help the child become more independent and better coordinated, Montessori developed a whole series of what we call the dressing frames. And what we're going to start with is the buckle frame. But we also have frames of buttons, large buttons and small buttons, uh, snaps, zippers. Sometimes people use safety pins, but there's Velcro, braiding, all kinds of openings and closings that child will encounter in his clothing. So we're going to start with the buckle frame. Now the buckles are done in a very unique way. We're going to do one part of each buckle and then go back and do the second part of each buckle and so forth. I always want to remember how little the children's hands are and how short their arms are. So the movements that we make are pretty small to begin with. And by the seeing now the repetition of this one movement four times, it's going to be easier to remember. So now... I'm going to take the pin out. Sometimes you have to hold the pin back so that it doesn't get restuck. Now it's time to start putting it back. So again, we're going to take one step at a time and do all four. The first step is just to put the buckle back. You can see by the slow, careful movements, the child is able to see exactly what it is that you're going to be asking his fingers to do. Maybe he says, can I try this one? And he said, of course. Now let's see the last step. All done. So following the buckle frame, I might want to go to the zipper frame. You kind of go from the easiest ones to the more complicated ones. And this one has a lot of steps, so as you've seen. <laughs>